Hey, gum, I forgot to turn on the recorder. I just shot a 15 minute update video and I forgot to turn on the recorder. Hey guys, my name is James. I just shot an update video and forgot to turn on my voice recorder. So, I have this information fresh on my mind right now. Take number two. How about that? All right. As you can notice behind me, I got our tractor in here. It's taking up a lot of room. That's why I didn't put this update out yesterday. I had every intention of doing it yesterday after church. But uh, we actually was having some problems with this and uh, the top end of it, you know, outside of it and minor work. We just couldn't figure it out. So we actually tore into it yesterday after church. Um, what is going on with the update? So the pen turning challenge started yesterday. Today is Monday, January 25th, 2016. One day after the challenge has started and I already have a submission. Thank you, Orly. Um, I'll have a playlist with his video in it so you can check that out too. And uh, he actually did perfect on it. He did exactly what I asked for. And uh, thank you, Orly, for that. It was awesome. I watched the video already. Thank you so much. Um, sometimes I get these things called brain farts and I don't know how to prevent them so with the pin turning challenge started answer a couple of questions uh, the non-traditional lay turning it doesn't mean you have to turn it it means you can make it any way you want to so if you want to make it on a bandsaw a scroll saw however you want to carve that, that wood down sand it up put the pin kit on it and call it a pin Go right ahead and just make your video submission there. So, um, traditional guys, just do it how you do it and uh, make your video there. As far as the prizes go, remember we have Rockler on board who has donated a three-piece carbide pin turning set, a little uh, dust right hood set for the actual lathe. That way when you are running the lathe, it's right there at it, it sucks all the debris up. And a four-piece turning set has a... Uh, coffee scoop, ice cream scoop, bottle opener, I believe, a bottle topper. Then we have uh, Fast Cap who's come on board. They've donated three glue bots and a 2P10 CA glue kit. Thank you very much, guys. We also have some individuals who have stepped up. Dave Gatton has donated another three-piece Rockler carbide pin turning set. Um, Chris Q has donated a 100-piece blank set. Moy Perez has donated a Amazon gift card. Tommy G from Tommy G's Workshop has donated uh, two sets of micro mesh sanding pads. Mike, uh, Miter Mike from Michael Murray from Miter Mike's Workshop has donated two 10 pack sets of um, slimline pin kits. And what am I forgetting? Braxton Worthlin has donated some goods from his online store, and so has Tom Mosier. Um, what's going to happen there is if you win those uh, items, you'll get a chance to actually look on the website, pick out what you want, and then we'll get it to you. So, there's the prizes for you. I have not developed the prize packs yet because I don't want to develop a prize pack and there be more entries and I could give more prizes. And that's something I want to talk to you about today. If I get enough entries in, I have a couple more ideas for some prize packs there. And... Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm not going to mention them right now because if I do, it will spoil uh, the surprise element I have involved in that. So just get your pin submission in as early as possible and there's a possibility you could win from there. That's the only hint I'll give you. Okay, what else is going on this week that I need to mention? So Saturday night on Russell Clarity's show, a lot of you watch it. Um, I'll leave a link down below to his channel. That way you can go ahead and bookmark it and go subscribe to him. That way you get the update. Saturday I will be the guest spotlight, I guess, on there. Um, I'm actually going to be turning some pins, talking about the pin turning challenge. I'm real excited about that. Thank you, Russ, for giving me the opportunity. So I hope to see every one of you out there on Russ's show. Um, let's try to get 100 people watching. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? So right after that is the Maritime Woodworker Show. So you got two great shows back-to-back. Let's flood both of those with watchers and uh, get some comments coming in. So uh, hopefully on there I'll have a chance to where I can read the comments. So if you have any questions for me there, if I don't see it, I'm going to have somebody on the panel watching too. Um, because I'm pretty sure there will be some questions about the challenge um, come up in that uh, episode of the rest of the show. So, okay, like I've said, 
Pen Turner Challenge has started. Your submissions will be good up until February 24th at midnight Central Standard Time. Um, anything later than that, I will not count towards the uh, challenge as far as the prizes go. You can still submit it. You can still do one. You just won't get a chance to win a prize. And who likes uh, entering a challenge and not winning prizes? So the earlier the better, guys. Um, so another uh, another element I want to talk about that I had an idea on is if you don't feel like actually turning a pin or is this not something that you do, but you want to help out the cause, email me at stressfreewheelworks at gmail.com and we'll work something out to where we can get a pin sent in your name. Um, so I thought about doing a uh, like a fundraiser to help provide the uh, actual supplies for that and, and getting some of my fellow uh, YouTubers that have helped me develop this. Um, maybe to turn them for us. So I thought about a GoFundMe to help fundraise some funds for that. So if that is a good thing in your mind, leave me a comment below on that. And uh, if I have enough, I'll, I'll start to GoFundMe and y'all can donate there as well. Another thing is throughout the year, I will still collect pins. So if say in July, you just feel like turning a pin to donate to our guys over there, you can do it, send it to me, and as soon as I have enough to send out again, I'll do another run. Um, but the next challenge will not be until next year. So thank you so much for all the mentions, the shares, the likes, and comments uh, so far on the challenge. It has been awesome. I really do appreciate everybody helping out. It really has truly moved me. I've been so excited about this. Another chance for me to, to step back from the battlefield but still help those guys out down there. So thank you so much. Guys, I really do appreciate, like I said, thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for all the comments, the likes, and uh, keep it going. 2016 has started out awesome, but I have been busy. So I'm gonna try to get a, uh, a video out maybe next week. Um, I got an idea in my mind of a uh, little small project uh, for my mother, so I'll probably put that on YouTube. So, but the transitioning from where I was to back to Alabama and then starting work and then this thing back behind me is a piece of junk. If you know anything about tractors, um, email me at stressfreewheelworks at gmail.com. Um, we had a washed out cylinder, so we're thinking this injectors. Plan is go ahead and re-ring it, rework the heads when we have it tore apart, and probably just replace all the injectors instead of having them built. If you know anything about them, email me, like I said, at stresspeopleworks at gmail.com because uh, we're kind of winging this as we go and watching YouTube videos. Imagine that. All right, guys. Thank you so much again. This will be on my website. This is going to suffice for now as my write-up article until I get a little bit more time. I have every intention of doing that Sunday, but this will have to work. So if you're watching this on my website, thank you for finding me. Um updates will come along as the weeks go on so till next time guys get out there and let some stress out